everybody. My name is Susan and my channel is Susan's Road Less Traveled. Today I am headed on to a couple of off-roads to go find a couple of waterfalls. Um, the upstate of South Carolina has about a thousand waterfall hikes and I've been on a couple but living up in this new area there's two that are literally five minutes from my house and so I thought I'd go out and get the dogs out for a few hours before lunchtime. So it's still early, it's about 65 degrees, uh, partly cloudy, and it had stopped raining for the last couple of days. So I think the trails will be okay, not too muddy. And the two that I'm going to are easy hikes, probably not even a mile to get into them. So just thought I'd start with a couple of easy ones and see where they take me. So this is the entrance to the half mile to a gate and then the hike to the falls. And they actually said this is passable with four wheel drive. Um, but two women just went ahead of me with two dogs. And so I thought I'd walk it first and not risk it probably. I don't have that high of clearance, even though I have a Jeep. So, so we'll see what this looks like. So far the road hasn't looked too bad, but this is a little treacherous right here. I would not want to drive my vehicle down this. Looks like people have yeah, been filling in the gaps. Get some traction. So glad I didn't try it. But looks like fun for the cars that can make it. So this is the dead end gate where trail starts and there's just parking all back in here. Definitely a, a cool Possibility if you've got the truck to get back here, definitely. So that was a half a mile, and then the trail here is 0.7 to the falls, so the whole hike is just under three miles.
Well, you can get a, a glimpse of the river through the trees and definitely hear the water running as you come down. Oh, there it is. How pretty. There's a nice little beach head down here. I'm trying to watch my step while I walk. So. Just that glimpse alone is worth the walk. This whole area back in here just screams off-road New Mexico to me and it warms my heart because I miss New Mexico. Um, and I miss the person that I traveled with in New Mexico. That's probably more so the case. So I'm headed out. Um, that was a really cool hike. It's about two and a half miles uh, round trip. I'm hot. It did get a little warm. A um, couple of little gnats in the area, but not bad for late September. Um, I passed about three or four families going in, and I can see where the beachhead area is a nice place to hang out with kids, and the water is shallow on the shore and all of that. Um, you can bring dogs, and personally, if I was going down there to hang out, I wouldn't mess with my dog because they have to be on a leash, and that's just a pain in the neck. I find I find it to be a pain in the neck hanging onto a leash. Um, and then if there's other dogs down there, you know, that's what you end up doing is refereeing, you know, barking and all this. So. Um, I would not take my dogs down there again. Um, it doesn't look like you can overnight camp there, but there are people that are doing uh, fires, and it was very clean. I didn't see any garbage along the way at all, so thank you for that. And it is uphill all the way out, so very gradual rising coming out of there but definitely a, an incline the, the entire way so and I think my Jeep um, could make it down the path but it's always a good idea to walk it first there was another car uh, Toyota Toyota 
Sequoia, I think, that had come down there and, and driven all the way to the main gate, and probably the ones with kids. There, I think there was four kids, so yeah, a little bit long of a hike for a family of four, all under the age of seven, I think. Um, so anyway, Riley Moore Falls, I give it a thumbs up. Very, very, very pretty um, and a really great hike. So thanks for joining me today and beautiful weather. Let's see if I can get some more falls in. Maybe this will be a little uh, playlist here if I can check some, some falls off my list. Take care.